How is the Indian Reservation today? Donna? <coughs> what her? How was that after the day? I'm still in awe about it. It's, it's just beautiful being out in God's creation. And um, we're out there at first, and the music's playing and loud so that the kids can hear it on the lying areas all around. And uh, um, they start rolling in on their bicycles and walking and stuff. And, um, while we were out there by ourselves, we, we came together and made a decision to seek the Lord's will in everything that we do and to strive to become one in the spirit, each of the members. And I know everybody who's done outreaches, like from the beginning, is just, I'm in awe, seeing it grow, seeing us grow and them grow with us in the Lord is, is amazing. It's just, I don't, even, I don't even know the words. It's like... Um, how does a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. Um, I, I uh, seek, no. Yeah, so that I may not stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Praise be to you, O Lord. Teach me thy decrees. Yes. And it's just, it's amazing. People are coming out. We're making decisions. Oh, we got invited. There's people came out from District 6 and because they've heard of it from, about it from the children to other districts. So it's a blessing. Some of the people came out today. So it's growing. It's just awesome. I'm in awe over it all. Thank you. What a crew we have. And it's a blessing to have the same crew in State Thank you. Amen. All the prayers from everybody, the pastors, the disciples, each one of you lifting us up in prayer all the time, every day in the classes, everything that we do. Thank you. Bless you, each one. Thank you. Come in, thank you. Give it Robert. Come in. We had a soul winning class here this morning. Back down to my office, and the next thing you know, Danny says, we're having a tour. There's a group of about 20 people from other church who want to come and find out what we're doing. And so they're, they're in a sanctuary. So we come down here and start talking to them, and they're all fired up. Talking about helping carry a cross. And they looked at the, one guy looked at the floor, and he says, you know what, I can help you get the carpet. And, and I said, you know, we need, he said, what do you need? I said, we need people to go to prison. Yo, I'm ready to do that. And the interesting thing is, Madonna, their church is right down in Levine, not too far from any reservation. So they, they're getting all fired up about that. And there's a couple of little kids here. That bunch of little kids with them too, you know, it's kind of neat. The little kids, I'm hungry. I said, you like hot dogs? I love hot dogs. I said, you know what? I said, we got an outreach going on right now. I says, probably the best way, we can sit here and talk to you until we're blue in the face. Probably the best way is just go over there to the outreach and find out what's going on. Did they make it? Yep. Yes, they did. Yeah, they did. People showed up. Chicken they were there. Rosa? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Jesse, come up here. Did you go out there with you, Gun Rosa? Yeah, I was there. Good. Because I know they're all fired up. Well, well, they were here earlier, and uh, yes, they, they were all over at Glen Rosa. In fact, we invited to sit up front, and they said, no, we're not guests. We came here to serve them like you are. And that was a really good example for all of us there. Too. And I know Robert couldn't see that because he was busy singing, and I know they're both good. Those three got a hands full today, but there were a lot of people at Glen Rosa, too. That's what we did all day, too. What else you do? Well, we went this morning to a real man's breakfast, and to be honest with you, I don't see that part, you know. I think uh, they're the real men, so those are the ones that are doing the will of God. <laughs> you know, and I think that this group right here, this is what they are. <laughs> but the real women, the real men working out there, doing what is to need to be done. We got the opportunity to, well, we did three hours, I was, with, with, uh, was with them for a while. And then I did a crosswalk. You know, with Tyler and Tyler and I, we had, a, we had an encounter we got today. But we were walking across in, um, in uh, Indiana School, there were people on their knees on the cross praying in the, around 10 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And I, I mean, I was like, yes, that's what I said. Wow, there we go. 
I said the same, you know, well, people were just around at the cross, praying and uh, reaching out for him. They said, this is what Jesus did. To be honest, be honest with you, I, just, I didn't know how to respond to them. I said, they didn't say anything. They were just, in fact, they were crying. And they were just going around the cross, and um, Tyler and I were just going like, uh, what do we, how do we not respond to this? How do we want to tell people what God did today? And then I went our way back. We went to this guy right here. Oh my God, we had a amazing, that's what I, man, I didn't visit today. Praise the Lord. Uh, about here. All right, Greg said, that's why we did it. Amen. So how was Brother Russell? You didn't even know that. Well, I pray that that little kid got some hot dogs. That's all I did. I see them all, but I, no, I didn't know. They never introduced themselves. So I didn't know what they were. Um, Lonnie is the new captain of Glen Rosa. And, uh, yeah! I still do everything I do, but he's the captain. So when, when things go wrong, it is fault instead of Lonnie. <laughs> I was just welcoming uh, volunteers that uh, came from Texas. AJ came and helped us all day. He started at 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, uh, we're just doing a behind the scenes getting set up. It takes a little bit of time to set up that outreach. And uh, he was with us the whole time. And then we did that outreach. And uh, thank you guys for everybody for. Uh, door knocking and everything that you guys do. There's a lot of people that get involved in that. And uh, then after that, we went to the care center. He followed us along over there. Uh, AJ, come on over. Oh, and Joseph Bungie, Dungy. or Dungy. Yeah, where's he at? Oh, he's probably at the um, overflow. Yeah, you remember Joe. <laughs> you from New York? No. Texas. Texas. <laughs> Talk some more so I can tell the difference. No. Howdy. Ah, you got it. <laughs> what do you think about all this? Uh, good afternoon, you guys. Uh, my name is AJ. As you know, I'm, I'm from Houston, Texas. And uh, this is my first time doing anything of this nature itself. And, you know, from eight until now, it's been very very humbling and I appreciate you guys and I praise you guys and God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. So he was so fired up this morning, he was always fired up, soul in it. You didn't take that out there, did you? Oh absolutely. What about the fishing? Oh the, we'll get to that. But at the uh, at the man I just I'm stuck on this fishing thing. But at the outreach, it, it was just a beautiful thing. Like LaDonna saying, the kids are just learning scripture. Jesse's teaching them songs. And there's a scripture God has just been ministering to me with uh, Matthew 17, 27. He told Peter to go cast your hook in the sea and then snatch the first fish up. And you open his mouth, there's going to be some money in his mouth. Yep. And, and that's what we've been doing. We've been fishing and, and putting hooks in their mouth. And I couldn't wait to get to the church and let y'all know that uh, one, of the, one of the people at our outreach gave a disciple some money <laughs> to give to the church and he brought it to me said he said brothers oh brothers oh look they're giving us money they're giving us money and i don't know if you've been a soul winner this morning but we've been preaching about if you open the fish's mouth it's going to be some money in it i'm serious this thing is real it's real oh and i know Satan is mad too oh he shook Hey, this thing is real. And then we go fishing, and we go fishing today, right? And, and, and we're out fishing, and it was the women. It was the women who, who did the thing this time. Um, um, come stand up, women. Ladies, stand up, stand up. This is what they did. They wanted to, they, they wanted to cast women's overflow, and then put people on the bus, and then I looked up, and we had a van following us. Um, pastor, it's just... It, it, it's, it's happening. And then we got a brother. Brother, stand up. Stand up, please, brother. Please stand up. You know who I'm talking to. My man's right here. My man's right here. He's coming to the mission. Stand up. He's coming to the mission. He's ready to, he's ready to get involved in the, in the church. He, this is going to be his new home. He's ready to come into discipleship. And so I'm just going to keep casting my hook. Well, I'll just give it to you now, Pastor, because it ain't no sense. In, it, it is what it is. God is moving. The, the, the temple is pouring out water, it's flowing, it's getting caught up. And just like in Ezekiel, all we fishermen have to do, just line up with the Holy Spirit, <laughs> cast your nets, and it's on. Amen. 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 Amen.
Well, that's verbal communication. No, that's not the... You must have taken less than Robert. Let me tell you something. God is... Let me tell you what. No, I wish I could communicate this. God's moving. And he's, I'll tell you something. He's putting... I'll tell you what he's putting in my heart. We better follow this thing. And let me, another thing, in fact, I was, somebody read Deuteronomy 17, 1. <laughs> Let's talk about this this morning. And then, I mean, you know, what we were supposed to read was 17. Go ahead, anybody, got it? You shall not sacrifice the Lord your God an ox or a sheep in which is a blemish any defect whatsoever, for that is an abomination to your Lord your God. <laughs> You know what he's saying? He wants the best. That's right. Not half step. I never thought of it. That just hit me so hard. I've always read about it. You know, I read about why they sacrifice animals. They want to sacrifice animals that, you know, got blemish raw. I like this. God don't want us to, to play games. That's what I believe he's trying to say. That's an abomination unto him. And I'm going to pray and I'm going to believe this. The ones that are going to gain. And that, you're going, we always have some of these. I pray the Spirit is so strong in here that they can't get in. They're just going to get out of here. They're going to scream to get out of here because they don't want no part of this. How many don't talk about? Let's pray for that. Let's start to become alive. It's real. In fact, it would have so neat tonight. we got the pastor man that's been having these kind of conferences out of his church to get people stirred up, fired up, and get out to do it. You know, getting out and, and getting this, the Word of God where it's in a proper position. God, I can't even talk. Try to get out there word and do what we're supposed to do. And he's here tonight. So I, I, this is going to be a good night. And I believe this from now on, I, it's so real to me. So real. This thing is becoming alive. God is not dead. No. No, if you don't want anything to do with him, that's on you. But I do. How many want something to do with God? You know what I'm talking about. I mean, we got struggles and problems. We can't even hardly stand ourselves. Some of the crazy stuff we do. But through it all, God's using us. I'll tell you, the hours are saying, in fact, I forgot about this. They're bringing kids from the mission up here on Sundays and they can't handle them. So we're going to get more kids up here so we can handle them. We'll figure out the way to handle them. But we're going to get them up here out of that mission. I love that, don't you? We got them over the old I pray we gotta hang them on the chandeliers. <laughs> what about you? Not the idea we're getting a whole lot of people, but God's building people, He's drawing people. He starts sending churches here. These guys, people are excited. They get out and see what we're doing. And we're still spitting this part. Wait till we get Well, we got the spirit. Wait till we get a little more finances and things that you know it's gonna help us. More buses. Buses. <laughs> And stuff like that. So, say that word. Buses. 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 We need buses. Usher's come up here. We got it. 